Tell me what you felt that moment, like this day, like describe it. Dunk it. Yeah. Dunk it, you know. So how are you, Elijah? Good, how are you? Good, good. So to start off our interview, I wanted to ask you how your passion for basketball began. Like where and when did this love for this sport start? My mom always coached basketball, so I was around the sport at, at, her, at an early age. So I probably, just over time, just being under her. Was it in Mississippi? Yeah, 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 in Mississippi. She coached at, uh, she coached um, middle school, high school, and then she does like rotary club type thing. So I was just around it 24 seven. Okay, was there like a specific age that you started? Um, I say about four, five, I say five. Was five. basketball like the only sport or was there other sports in mind that you had? I, just, I was active as a kid, I played everything. I played, I went from football to basketball to baseball and just every year just, you know, trying to stay active. Yeah. But that's, that's, that's how I was growing up, just had to, had to do something, consist it. Mm -hmm. So in 2020, you joined the FAU men's basketball team as a guard. You know, Is it hard to balance school and be an athlete? Coming in as a freshman, yeah. Mm -hmm. But once you get like their first year under your belt, you kind of figure out how to like, like move around. But after that, it's, it's pretty smooth. Why did you decide to join FAU and become a part of the men's basketball team? Like, what motivated you to come here to this university? It was just the perfect setup. Um, mm -hmm. Coming in, I had like did my research, looked at the roster, looked at the, um, the play style, mm -hmm. and it was just set up for like me to succeed. And I made my decision based on that. So I'm going to show you a picture, and you're going to tell me what you felt that moment, like this day. Like, describe it. Like, what was going through your mind when you were hitting that? Dunk it. Yeah. Dunk it, you know. I was thinking ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> like, what were you, like, thinking, like, oh, my God, I got to do it? <laughs> yeah, I got I to gotta make this, because, like, the previous times, mm -hmm. I'd have missed, I'd have missed, like, two dunks. So I was yeah. like, I got to get this one. So mm -hmm. that's, all, that's all I was focusing on, focusing on. How do you feel with the crowd when they're cheering? Because I was Just, there during that game, and that crowd was, like, hype. Yeah, it gives, yeah. It gives you more juice. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know, I can't really explain, because, it just gives you more juice and like more fire to play with. It's mm -hmm. fun. Like it makes it real fun because everybody's in tune. Awesome. So now we're gonna play a game called Who Is Most Likely To, but Basketball Edition. So I'm pretty much gonna ask you questions like Who Is Most Likely To, and yeah. you're gonna write in this whiteboard the name of your teammates. So who is most likely to get yelled at by Coach Dusty May? Dang, hold on, this handwriting is terrible. <laughs> but Trey, gotta go with my boy Trey, man. He's a freshman, like, that's that's what I went through, you know? I was going through that last year too, you know, getting yelled at. But like, once you learn everything, everything gets smooth, you know, you learn and you develop for real. Who is most likely to stare at the, themselves in the mirror, like frequently? Why you? <laughs> I don't know. I just like looking at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to have the most technical fouls in the season? That's a tie. Mm. Gotta go with my boy G. Why? Because like we, everybody smack talk, but it's just the way he do it, you know? Mm -hmm. like, you don't try to be slick with him. Out in the open. What about who is most likely to not take anything seriously, like the Joker of the team? Yeah. I bought my dollar spoon. Why? He just think everything funny. <laughs> who is most likely to get dunked on? My boy Vlad. Why, Vlad? Because he, I mean, he a rim protector, so it's mm -hmm. going to happen if you run into a good player. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he just not in a good position to, you know. Yeah. Who is most likely to airball a free throw? I think I did. Yeah, I me. Mean, I airballed at home one day, one game. I felt, yeah. I feel very bad. Yeah. <laughs> Embarrassing stuff. Who is most likely to have the best shoe game? 
on me again. Why? <laughs> uh, I like I like collecting shoes. You know, I probably don't even wear half the shoes I got. I just like collecting because you know, knowing I yeah. got. Yeah. What is your favorite one of all the ones you have? How many do you have, anyways? I got about thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Favorite ones. I gotta go with UNC threes. Who is most likely to sing in the locker room? It's tough one. Is singing and rapping the same thing? Yeah. All right. I think it's okay. I can just say everybody, cause yeah, yeah. you know we all be listening to music and be turn for real. Yeah. What do you guys listen to? Right now we um we on this Vulture Island mm -hmm. with um Ralph O Nine and Little Baby. Okay. That's that's the one we on right now. Like, whoever like popping for real, we just listen to it, getting turned to it in the weight room and locker room and stuff. We chilling. Okay. Who is most likely to trip over their own feet on the floor? <laughs> you gonna eat me for this one? Why? <laughs> My boy's full. Cause we be we be on him all day about how he be tripping and stuff. So that's why we, that's why he gonna be mad at me after this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> so to end it up, who is most likely to give up their body for a plate, like dive on the floor for a loose ball? Gotta go, my boy Vlad. Why Vlad? Um, he just plays hard. I like, I like his energy. I like playing with him. He plays hard. Maybe you want to play harder, you know? So let's talk about your future. What do you plan on doing after college? What do you see yourself accomplishing in a couple of years? Just better than where I am now. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be NBA or overseas, but I want to continue playing basketball as long as I can, but just better than where I am now, you know? Is there any team that you would really want to play? Like your dream team? Probably New Orleans, since it's mm -hmm. like close to my hometown. Okay. So it'll be like playing at home for real. So you see yourself playing basketball? Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I'm gonna do until I can't no more, you know? So thank you, Elijah, for your time today. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you, thank you for Thank you.